It is tempting in this short space to talk about people. I could write pages about the young men who've played at Duty Noble, like Burke's Grand Slam. The 3-1 pitch is a drive deep to left, way back, it is good! A Grand Slam for Masters! Back-to-back -back home runs by Clark and Palmero. Raffo's monstrous shots. Showalter's 459. BJ's 19 strikeouts. Thigpen's throws to the plate. Pete's dirty uniform. The easy grace of Jody Hurst chasing fly balls. I could go on and on about these electric moments. If they're just a bunch of kids playing a game, why do we talk about them for years after they're gone? It would be easy to write about Ron Polk and the house he built and the throngs that fill it. It's a credit to him that we're disappointed when we don't make it to Omaha. We expect it. He spoiled us. Mississippi State goes back to Omaha. But I can't write pages here, perhaps another day. So I'll just talk about the place. I guess every ballpark in earlier times was something else. Great things come from humble origins and all that, but it's difficult to believe Duty Noble was once a cow pasture. I discovered it early in March of 1975 while a sophomore at State. This was before Polk and the crowds were small. It was a pleasant place to be in the spring, but the park wasn't magical, yet. The following year, State hired Ron Polk and Duty Noble snapped back to life. He won, as he always has and always will, and suddenly the stands were full, the crowds were loud, and the trucks and trailers appeared in left field. The lounge was open for business, and the clouds of barbecue smoke became a symbol of baseball success at Mississippi State. We outgrew the old park, and he convinced us to build a new one. The older I become, the more I find myself drawn back to Duty Noble. There are many reasons. It's great baseball played by very talented kids. The game is pure and uncorrupted by money. The place is filled with memories, both of my college days and of the great games and moments since then. It's a wonderful place to unwind. The mood is festive. Time is meaningless. The game is played without a clock. Deadlines are more distant. Appointments seem insignificant. Regardless of wins. And here it comes. Struck him out swinging, and the dogs have done it. Bulldogs are celebrating a championship on the field here at Duty Noble. And losses. I always feel better when I leave Duty Noble than when I arrive. There are a few places of which this can be said. And so I return year after year to watch the best of college baseball, to see old friends and make new ones, to cook and eat, to see the show. There may be larger parks, but not larger crowds. There may be prettier parks, but I doubt it. Duty Noble is college baseball at its absolute finest. And Mississippi State, for the first time in six years, is going back to the College World Series. There's a drive into center. David Mitchell is there. He got it. This ball game is over. The Bulldogs go to the College World Series 1990.